Hey guys, Jeeps here, and welcome back to Tribes Ascend. Today I'm going to do a quick highlight of some potential upcoming patch notes for you. So, this is actually from last week. Last week on the 17th, Hi-Rez Stu posted on the Hi-Rez Official Tribes forums with a, I guess you could say, a preview of the upcoming patch. So, keep in mind, these are not the official patch notes. This patch is not actually out yet. It is rumored to be coming out sometime this week. That is what they're aiming for. But... Nonetheless, this is worth looking at because it could give us some idea of what we're about to be seeing. So, on the horizon, here is what we have in store. First and foremost, Stonehenge is finally getting added to the official rotation. Despite having been in since the last update, which it was named for. Or, the update was named for Stonehenge. I don't even know why they haven't added it to the rotation yet. I don't know why they took so long. I guess they were beta testing it on custom servers. I don't know. But we're getting that, so that's great. Secondly, we're getting three new weapons, one for each of the starting classes. So if you aren't tired of new weapons since Accelerate, guess what? You're getting more. These are looking to be the Light, Regular, and Heavy Twin Fuser. This is for, obviously, the Pathfinder, Soldier, and Juggernaut, which is odd, because you would think Heavy, Spin Fuser, Twin, whatever you want to call it, would be a Brute Weapon, but it looks like they are going for just doing weapons for the original starting classes. Now, we can only expect that these are some sort of two-shot Spin fuser type thing? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Next, there are going to be two new CTF maps. One, Permafrost, will immediately be added to the rotation, and another one, Dangerous Crossing, will be added on custom servers, much like Stonehenge was, and will likely see its way into the rotation after, I guess, they give it a good tryout on custom servers. So that is quite cool. They will also be adding a limited time event game type called CTF Blitz. In Blitz, the flag moves every time you capture it. So the flag stand will be in a new place, so you can't just memorize one route. So this is interesting. This is going to be a limited time special event mode. It's only going to be playable on Arx Nevena and Catabatic. And, I don't know, this could be interesting. It seems a little odd thing to do. I'm assuming it will be able to be played on custom servers indefinitely, once they add the game mode, much like how Rabbit is not a normal game mode, yet you can still play it on custom servers, but again, we'll see. Now, a few other new things. New players under rank 6 will actually be added to a smaller map subset from the start. They haven't said which maps, but they're going to be added onto what they consider the more user-friendly or new player-friendly maps. So, I guess we'll see what those will be if you're under rank 6. So I won't be seeing that, and many of you probably won't be either. There will also be a party system for grouping up with your friends and kind of having a little party chat thing. That's kind of cool. And what is really exciting, because we haven't had any in a while, we're getting three new skins. That's right. For the Pathfinder, we'll be getting the Free Runner, the Brute will be getting the Crusher, and the Sentinel will be getting the Spectre. No idea what they look like. If I had to guess, the Brute might be a Bioderm. I'm really holding out for a Bioderm skin, guys. That would be awesome, and you know they're going to do them. So that's going to be great. Three new skins. Been a while since we got any new ones. Also, they're going to be adding in some more microtransactions, like actual ones, in the form of voice packs. There are going to be two female and one male, like, extra voice packs to buy. Now, I'm sure some people are going to be a bit of an outcry because, oh, why, why do we have to buy the, specifically the female voice packs, or a voice pack? And I'll admit, it might have been kind of nice to add one new voice pack as an alternate default voice pack. Maybe do a male and a female built in. Give us one of those for free and then add the other two as pay ones. Just because. I don't know. But I voice packs, cool thing to add as a... Just as a, you know, for cosmetic transaction. Now I'm just holding out for different colored jetpack colors. Seriously. That's such an easy one. Why haven't they done that? Just let us buy different jetpack colors. People will do it, hi -res. We're wanting to give you our money for different color jetpacks. Now, the last quick thing we're going to mention is there are some more balanced things. Most notably, they are seeming to reduce the power of automatic weapons a bit more. Most notably, the Doombringer is finally getting some nerfs to his weapons. Which makes me a little sad, but they're definitely a long time in coming. Tribes has never really been about automatic weapons play, so probably worth it. Also worth noting is they are nerfing two of the things that everyone hates the most. That is right, Fractals and the Jackal are getting nerfed. Awesome. That's all I have to say. Awesome. Alright guys, that is probably going to be it for now. We should be seeing the actual patch sometime this week. 
I will have a link in the description to the forum post that has all of these projected patch notes on it. If you got anything you'd like to discuss, as always, leave a comment. We can talk about it. Like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can check us out on Facebook or Twitter and follow me on Twitter. There'll be uh, things in the description below if you're interested in that for whatever reason. As always, I've been Jeeps. Talk to you.